From across the ocean in Pakistan, Harun Malik is set to study applied statistics in Newfoundland. But it's been two months of searching and he's missing one key thing. Right now I'm just looking just for a room in a house. I'm not looking for like an apartment or like, um, you know, something like that. And it's still like difficult to find. So why is this year so hard? One property management company says it's a mix of high interest rates that makes landlords' mortgages more expensive and there's not enough rentals to meet the increasing demand. Lindsay Kelly is a real estate agent and the general manager for Crown Property Management. She's seen the demand when new apartments come on the market. We have 10, 12 people at a time going to see the units that we have. Finding a rental is hard for everyone, locals included, but for international students, they face additional challenges. They're just not as familiar with how things work here. They're more likely to fall victim, I think, to rental scams. Scammers usually are smart people. They have figured out that I'm not going to sue them. Like, I'm not in no position to start a graduate school in a new province, in a new country, in a new city. So what about living on campus? Bruce Belbin is Munn's housing director and says there's a wait list. Probably about 150 people who are currently looking for accommodations on campus. Some campuses are already fully booked for the fall, leaving Munn to come up with other options. For example, where uh, roommates may have single rooms, uh, we're asking them if they want to double up. But if a student shows up and can't find a place to live, Belbin says they will not be left stranded. Like in the past, we've helped students who've uh, been flooded out of an apartment, for example, or they're, they're, there's been a fire. We will temporarily bring them in and, and work with them to find another uh, location. That continues to be our mantra. Like, no student will be left alone, and that's our goal where we can. Malik hopes it doesn't come to that for him. There's a lot of uncertainty. Things are out of my control. It's very helpless. I'm just, like, trying to stay positive that uh, things might work out and... Nothing's going to be that bad. For now, even without a secure place, he says he'll be here next month. Arlette Lazarenko, CBC News, St. John's.